Alan, thanks for hanging out with me. I want to talk to you about the Affordable 4. <laughs> I choose that funny name because it's true. So a lot of, uh, a lot of companies are, are bringing out EVs that ha have above 300 kilometers of range and they're all around 30,000 euros. So I call it the new 2020 Affordable 4 because it's four cars, Volkswagen ID3, uh, Renault Zoe with the bigger battery, uh, the Peugeot E208 and the Opel or in Britain Vauxhall E Corsa. And they're all very similar. They, they, so with the ID3 of course I'm, I'm, I'm talking about the, the smallest battery, not the one I'm interested in and, and the, not the first edition. It's the 45 kilowatt net capacity, kilowatt hour battery, uh, that so gross capacity will be 50 and all the other ones also have 50 the, the Renault Zoe says it has a 42 and there are some some weird things I will talk about it in a second let's look at the chart range so um, ID3 330 kilometers uh, Peugeot and Opel 340 uh, Renault Zoe Two, let's call it like this. There's just a new version, and they have, uh, have uh, looks a bit better now, and the inside looks great. They did a good job. They say 390 kilometers of WLTP range, and with the 52 kilowatt hour uh, battery, that means they would have an average consumption of 13.3 in the WLTP test, and I doubt that. I don't think that's correct. Something is wrong here. All the other ones have around 15 to 16, and that sounds way more realistic than 13.3 or something. That's weird. Really weird. Motor, all have 100 kilowatt motors, so 136 horsepower. Uh, the ID3 technically has a 150 kilowatt motor. But with the small battery, it cannot uh, get the amps to produce that much power, so we don't know yet if it will be 100 or 125, something like this. We just know it's a 150 kilowatt motor in there, and we don't know with the 45 kilowatt hour battery how much power it can produce. We'll see. Acceleration. Um, of course, ID3, we have no number, but uh, they say for the bigger one, under 8 seconds, so pro probably uh, uh, eight, a bit over 8. Uh, Peugeot and Opel have the exact same number, 8.1. The Renault Zoe has under 10, which is weird. It's really weird. Why would it be so slow with a 100 kilowatt motor? Uh, it's, I don't know, but they say 9.8 or something like this. Top speed, um, ID3 160, Peugeot and Opel 150, and uh, Renault Zoe 140. AC charging, all star uh, is, is 7, 7 kilowatt. But the uh, Renault Zoe can charge with 22 on AC. That's cool. DC charging, all 100, 100 kilowatt. But the uh, Renault Zoe again is different. Only 50 kilowatt DC fast charging. Bit bit weak, I have to say. Um, the, what do we have? What do we have? Yeah. Uh, prices uh, are similar, like I said. ID3 will start under 30,000 euros. Opel and Peugeot are around 30,000 euros. Of course, it's the lowest spec. Uh, but uh, the thing is, uh, with the, the Renault Zoe is again a bit different. When you buy the battery, the lowest spec with this, uh, uh, with the big battery and, and, and the lowest spec, like I said, it's 32,000. And if you want to DC charge, you have to pay 900 euros more, so it's 33,000. So it costs a bit more and, and delivers less. That's a bit... That's a thinker. Um, 
but there are all there are four great cars I can't wait to drive them all uh, everybody is it uh, I want to know what what is your car what do you want what is the car that interests you they're all a similar size but but I think the ID3 has a, has a, has a different form the others uh, look a bit more look a bit smaller and, and, and but it's they all have great design I think I like them all to look at Great four cross, the affordable four. <laughs> I'm so proud. <laughs> okay, thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. Take care. Bye.